Hi, and welcome back to Death Stranding. So, we've done the three mandatory, but this guy has thrown a spanner in the works. Uh, recovery toolbox, so I've got to go out there and come back. Yeah, collection from a BT area. I knew it was going to be the case. The toolkit you're looking for ought to be in my old shelter. It's been tagged, so shouldn't have any trouble finding the place. I'll unlock it remotely once you get there. Oh, and take some of those hematic grenades you brought with you. Nothing you'll want more when those BTs put your back against the wall, right? Here's hoping it won't come to that. Why, thank you. Ah, uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, carry on back. Confirm. We're gonna get a stressed little baby. Do, 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 do. Right, so, cargo. Uh, you're fine. So, um, on footwear, mule boots, carry on back, uh, where's the other boots, poor boots, uh, attached boot clip. Uh, if we got to come back. I can put the antique watches in the private locker. Because I'll be coming back here. Just someone please remind me that I've done this. Okay. Guessing that direction. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to worry about anything else. If I get opportunity, I will bring stuff back. Yep, there goes the rain. Weapons restrictions lifted. As expected. That's not good sounds. That boat? Looks like a top of a boat. Oh, it's going to be the remnants of the city. You are ceramics, which isn't going to last long. I don't like this plan at all. We're getting ourselves in a hole. Oh, it's a post bot. Is it? Ooh. Ooh. I wasn't expecting this. So we've got to get over there. And we don't have a direct route. Of course we don't. Of course we don't have a direct route. So we gotta go. Yeah, we can go under there. Just around there, let's do that. 
get in under the rain, under the shelter. Let's pick up. Sam, if you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. Ooh, I saw that. Cargo. Ah, I see you. Come on, baby. It's not that bad. Let's get under here. There you are. And there's one in front. Okay, I see you. I see you. Oh crap. One really close. Come on. Where did it go? There was one here. I think I've lost them. Ok, 
God damn, this place is a mess. Let's activate the terminal. Private locker. was happening. Come on. There you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's what I wasn't doing. I wasn't being stealthy. We can do this, we can do this. <sighs> well, you indicate you're indicating back up there. Okay, let's come to a stop. Get our energy up. See, I reckon he's up there. Definitely handy that it gave me extra grenades. So many weird sounds. Okay, follow my step. Come on. Okay. I think we're good. Uh, let's just get out of here. Thank you. Um, no. No. That's it. Come on, kitty. Okay, you've had enough. You're giving me love hearts in bubbles. Okay, so I think we can get rid of that and stand up. Head back to that guy. So, what are you? You are something. Lost cargo. Yeah, we can deal with that. <clears throat> uh, let's get some more of this stuff. 
There we go. We've got another one over here. Yeah, we're getting the hang of this. There we go. It's very different having to stealth through, like, technically invisible mobs. It's uh, definitely a different direction to go in. There we are. Beginning scan. Scanning bridge's ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Come wow, so much not for this place. Only one one of my cargo is for here. We can deal with that. Oh. <gasps> Google. That was almost bad. I walked into the back of the building. This is going to change your mind. Please. You didn't say please. God, where did manners go? For a civilization, they still can't say please. Network online. Craftsman, Bulagan, ooh, terrorists posing as fragile express couriers, ooh, we're going to encounter BTs on the way back, right, now that you're looking out for me, it's only fair that I look out for you, so, well, long as you keep me connected, I'll keep on supplying you with my best tools. And together we all might live a little longer. Oh, by the way, check out this beauty I made. It's called a bola gun. Should keep anyone from giving you trouble for a minute. It's non lethal, of course. I can't promise it won't leave marks, but that's on them. If you think you could use it, take it. Candor. A bola gun, huh? That could come in handy. As is, you can use it to restrain human targets without killing them. But swap out those wires with strands spun from your blood, and it might even work on BTs. Go ahead. Give it a whirl. Okay. So where does... Oh, that's big. Carry by hand. Yeah, let's carry on the tool rack. Cool. 
Right, let's confirm that. Well, you've done your bit. Time for me to do mine. And disappear. Good work. New order of Right, activate terminal. Uh, recycle. Okay, why can we only do it in little increments? We know. Skip. Oh, max deposit pool is 300. Okay. Um, so what I need to do is fabricate canister repair spray. Probably two. Uh, load all. Because this bit's going to be boring. Thank you for your contribution. Right, so we step out. Excellent work, Sam. You've brought three way stations into the fold. The preppers are on the grid, and the chiral network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs, and mules hit the transport on the way back. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mules drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. How big's a server? Right, so... What I need to do... Uh, container damage... Okay, so that... Carry by hand... Right hand... Container damage... Carry by hand... Left hand. Confirm. Fantastic. Now we do the same again. Uh, we're looking for container. Ah, oh, those boots can be recycled. That can be recycled. Oh, that's not as bad. Okay, we'll also just give those two a going. And you yeah, carry by hand. Left hand. Confirm. Now you should drop. And then we go here. Uh, smoke grenade, container spray, spray. Get these back into pristine. I'm just using it all on them. Good. Uh, we should be able to do this and go over to there. Activate the terminal. 
Uh, recycle. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Yep, fantastic. So they've now got some materials, which is neat. Uh, take on orders, standard orders. You're to go to there. You're to rescue. You're to go back there. And where's this next mission? And what have I got? Okay. Destination, order, retrieval server. Oh, bah, 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 bah. that's not going to be fun. So they basically want me to go here. And then there. I think I can tackle next episode. But speaking of that. So, William Luke, you've got to go the extra mile. Thanks again, Sam. You really came through for us today. Now, you can tell me to mind my own business if you like, but I couldn't help but notice that you've been getting better delivery evaluations lately. Looks like you know what you stand to gain if you go for the extra mile, or do you? The Bridges Evaluation System will see you properly awarded for providing that extra bit of service to make people happy. Ah, speaking of happy, I just remembered the time you first came here, which was earlier, after crossing Ground Zero. True, successfully delivering cargo to its destination is your job, first and foremost, but the people are demanding. They don't want their shit carried from A to B, they want a little bit more, you know, special treatment. Something that would put a smile on their face. Hey, I get it. It's all a lot more work for you, tracking down lost cargo, returning items to their rightful owners, and it's not really part of the job description either. But you better get used to it, because standards are changing and people are going to expect more from their porters. Anyway, it's usually worth your while. Going above and beyond is a good way to rack up plenty of likes and hell. Sometimes you end up doing it without even realising you did. I'm serious. Next time you complete an order, take a closer look at your results. See if there isn't a symbol next to your likes which indicates that you got them for performing optional extras. You might be surprised. It may seem like hassle right now, Sam, but you never have too many likes. And data six. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Good deal with that as well. Um, at the other place. Where's our first one here? Oh, only one. Terrorists prosing as fragile express couriers. The craftsman one year ago, personal shelter. Terrorists have been at it again. You heard, right? How about they've been sneaking in and out of cities disguised as fragile express couriers? We'll have another disaster on our hands at this, right? But it's not like we can just cut them out. We need fragile's people to keep them doing what they're doing. We rely on those guys a lot. Though, maybe we shouldn't. I hear they're transporting weapons now. Why they'd be so stupid, I can't imagine spreading shit round like that kills a whole... Kills in a world where the dead are ticking BT bombs, sure terrorists are a threat, and mules a royal pain in the ass, but 
the genius figured escalation was the way to go when we all know where it leads. We need weapons, no tools, that we can take down the bad guys without killing them. And we need the hardware in circulation gone yesterday. We can't keep folks from dying in accidents or getting sick, but we can keep them from dying, period. But the deaths can we put off? We ought to. Violence just isn't ugly. It's damn near suicidal in this day and age. Which is why I'm looking for... Looking to make a bunch less than a lethal gear in the hopes. That it'll prevent some idiots from getting themselves and others killed. So yeah. And that's it for now. So... Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a good one.